It's nearly inspection time, and there's a new life form taking shape in your microwave. It's not ideal, is it? When you signed your contract, you paid £150 deposit. Now you're going to want that back, and we want to give it you back. But in order for that to happen, you have to, you know, keep stuff clean. I get it though. Cleaning's boring. Besides, you're probably all too busy in the library or attending every single lecture to fully concentrate on stuff like that. But if you can do a little bit as you go, you're gonna save yourself a whole heap of time and a ton of hassle later on. Whenever inspection time comes around, ovens and hobs always tend to be a problem. So we've put together some tips for you using stuff that you probably already have around the flat. You're going to need a scourer, a sponge, some washing up liquid, an all-purpose cleaner, and some elbow grease. I know, gross. So let's get down to it. Obviously, before you start cleaning your oven, make sure it's not turned on and that it's not still hot. You're going to want to remove all of the trays and rails from the oven, totally strip it down, and then soak them in hot soapy water for between 10 and 20 minutes. I always use this time to paint my nails or lose at FIFA. Go back after they've had a good soak. And don't bother with the sponge here, it's not up to the job. The metal scourer should get rid of any dirt and grime, no problem. The sponge gets its time to shine inside of your oven. Combine it with the all-purpose cleaner to wipe away anything that's built up. If it's really stuck on in there, go back to the scourer. Make sure you wipe away any bits that fall off inside the oven too. It's just warm soapy water again for the oven door, inside and out. Obviously some ovens vary, but all the same principles apply. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, how to clean the hob. It's bad news guys, if you want to keep this looking brand new, you're going to have to keep on top of cleaning it after every single use. 30 seconds with some warm soapy water and a scouring pad should do the trick. Next we come to the trusty microwave, the home of delicious soups and questionable meals at 2am. You'll be pleased to know that the solution here is pretty simple. You're going to need a microwave safe bowl, some water, a lemon, a lime or some vinegar. Chop up your lemon or lime and put it in a bowl with some water. Alternatively, you can use the vinegar. Then put the whole thing inside the microwave. Turn it on high for a few minutes or until the window steams up. And then just give the inside a quick wipe. You're done. Easy. Please don't burn yourself though, yeah? Oh, and it's not going to hurt to give the outside a quick wipe too. And finally, on our voyage of things you probably already know but forgot to do, we better take a look at your toaster. Before you do anything though, unplug it. You're going to need a damp cloth and something to dry with. So, remove the crumb tray. I know, I had no idea it was in there either. Dump the crumbs in the bin, wipe down the tray with a damp cloth to remove any remnants of deceased toast and dry. Make sure it's all dried off before you put everything back together and start cooking bread again. Obviously, it's really important that you don't fail your inspection. So cleaning as you go will ultimately save you loads of time and make everyone's lives a little bit easier. Right, I think we're done. Can someone come clean this up, please? <laughs>